Hello guys, welcome to my workbench again with part 4 of my Hi-Fi uh, amplifier. Uh, anyway guys, I'm, uh, I've done some things here. You can see uh, the wiring of our uh, pilot light, our switch and our fuse all around here up to there. Yes, and I have my uh, first two uh, uh, filament uh, wiring on the EL34s and I've uh, connected up uh, our uh, uh, EL34s up to uh, the transformers yeah, and onto the sockets on the, on the front. So I'll turn them around now. Let's yes, stop the camera for a minute so it'll be easier because it's quite heavy. Okay, there you are again. So, uh, I have to reposition the camera a little bit, hold on. Uh, a little bit further forward. So, no. Okay. Refocus. Okay, guys, you can see here, up front, I put some script in there to mount all the wiring and the parts. I put a uh, uh, resistor and uh, an electrolytic capacitor, both sides in on the ATL34. There are some parts that belong to uh, the EL34, so that they're going to, get, going to get in. And I will endeavor to get this valve and this valve employed uh, today, perhaps tomorrow. And then uh, we have to see how it goes. Uh, the next thing to do is this then is uh, our. Uh, uh, our base and our uh, uh, highs uh, I'll show you on the schematic that's what I want to do today is hopefully I will get this all done get this valve connected up get this valve connected up this one up yes and then the, tomorrow uh, hopefully I will start off on this one with all uh, uh, the corrections for, our, for uh, the low and high yeah, and then we get up to uh, the, this valve. So there's actually those two valves on both sides I'm going to do. So uh, this I will connect up a bit differently. So uh, I have to see to that yet. And then of course when I have that far I'm going to uh, connect up the meters. I have a schematic for that as well. So um, there you go guys. Uh, we are on our way. We have to, uh, to mount our... Uh, uh, power supply so I keep uh, everything out of the way of uh, of the entrance here because it's very sensitive it can be very sensitive and uh, make sure that this uh, EF86 will be at uh, low impedance very low impedance otherwise uh, uh, the hum will uh, will start so it will be very, if the microphone is a high impedance so the hum will be uh, tremendous then. So uh, we have to get this impedance as low as possible uh, and match to our uh, record player or uh, pickup. So uh, that it doesn't hum. So that is very important. So guys, that uh, is it so far, and uh, I will come back to you when I have more. Right. Welcome back guys. Well, uh, I just uh, wanted to show you what I've done. Um, I uh, put all the connections on the uh, filaments, on the all our valves, you know. And I put on our uh, uh, net lead. Put that on, that's two contacts for, uh, for uh, uh, minus and for uh, plus so uh, and uh, I put in our uh, uh, output from our transformer twice uh, 300 volts I put in I put our uh, uh, connections up for uh, our uh, uh, choke I put that in I put on in uh, our uh, transformers I will uh, position the uh, uh, amplifier a bit, so long. It's 
Well, I have even number those transformers in there. There we go. There we go. So I put that all on here, on this side. It's all positioned in. I did connect up our uh, end stage already, yeah. And I connected up our uh, first part here of our uh, preamplifier. Put that in there. It's not done here yet, so that's the next thing I'm going to do. And then you can see our uh, power supply. I finished that completely. The only thing we have to do now is uh, drill a hole in here and go via this, this hole here with that leaf. That's the leaf here. See? I have to do that still. And I will put that in. But I leave this for the last. So I have to check our uh, amplifier. So, uh, so far so good. Anyway guys, this uh, is uh, this coming along slowly. Uh, to, to, to be honest with you, I, uh, that took me nearly the whole afternoon to get this all done, you know. Uh, it's quite a bit of work. And uh, this morning I done this then, or this morning, uh, this afternoon. Because the, uh, the morning was uh, going to JD Farak, our pastor. And, um, uh, with this uh, prophecy update, so we have to do that also. So we uh, keep us keep us posted, what is all going on, and uh, I'm appreciating that very much as a question. So uh, anyway, guys, um, perhaps you don't know, but our our, uh, our Lord, our King, will come back soon, and uh, well, hopefully I get this finished. Uh, we have to see. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is. Um, getting this finished and then I will uh, uh, go on to the next part and it will be this section here that's, that's this part of the of the valve so it's the same thing on this side so I have to do that then and from then on it gets uh, gets on to our uh, how, uh, high and lows uh, uh, our potentiometers oh that would be a lovely word again our VRs and our uh, input and then we go on and on and on okay but first things first I'm going to do this this section first and I'll come back to you when, uh, when I get have more I probably have done that as well on this side so anyway guys I'll see you later welcome uh, everybody we are continuing with our build as you can see in front of you uh, I uh, Finished nearly uh, one side, one of the one channel of uh, the serial amplifier. Uh, just looking for something to point out. Uh, okay, let's use this screwdriver for a minute. There we go, guys. Uh, this part is completely set. Um, uh, the only thing we have to do next is get get those uh, valves employed. We have to build off this side still, so with, but again uh, I am uh, in the process of uh, testing that. So uh, uh, only you I have to change is uh, this resistor, this cathode uh, resistor. It was much too low because the current of the anode was too high. So I put a bigger one in there so when I was okay. Anyway, what I'm still going to do, I'm probably going to do, is that 100 ohm with the here. I will replace that for 470 so that the screen grid uh, it goes a bit lower in voltage. Um, anyway, I have to try that uh, which uh, resistor that has to be. I will at first try a 470 ohm, there's no 100 ohm there. I just want to see if uh, uh, this is going to work. Anyway, guys, uh, I will show you. Uh, how he works. I will put all the voltage on the variac. Look, that is about it. The left on. I uh, put them on now. I didn't do anything on the on the um, the meters yet. But I just wanted to show you this. Let's have a look. That will come to life. Not yet. Uh, it's warming up. 
anything of the potential meters or the VRs, I didn't do anything about yet. So that's the next part was coming behind this, all right? You can hear them. I'll take another one of this. You see there is no hum whatsoever. So that is clear. That's clear. I check my uh, uh, EL34 because if uh, the current is too high the anum starts to glow. So that's fine now. So uh, nothing is uh, that was not that bad, but you could see that the uh, anode started to glow and then you know there is too much anode current to uh, that uh, the Falcon is uh, outside its uh, capabilities. So you have to reduce that, so I did that immediately and uh, that was okay. Anyway, we are working with a voltage off, have a look, uh, on the bottom here, we have a voltage of uh, Let's put this meter on. We have a voltage of uh, 399 volts on one side, and we have uh, uh, 395 volts on the other side. Because let's see, the difference is not that much yet because uh, there are only uh, two valves in there. Yeah. If I put uh, another EL34 in, then probably the the well, we'll do that. No, I won't do that because uh, the cathode uh, resistor is not, and I have no speaker on the end, so uh, I won't do that. So I have to do. If you want to check that channel on this side, I will uh, disconnect everything, and then I will try that as well. Uh, we know now uh, for, uh, from the start this will be okay. I can put the other valve in there, and I think it's going to hum, and I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, the potentiometers, the uh, uh, low and high, are not all connected up yet, so you have no negative voltage on that valve. So, consequently, as we will start to hum. So, I'll put the valve in now. Let's have a look. I'll put that in. There we go. There's the third valve is in there now. And then you will hear more amplification, of course. And uh, we have, there you go, you hear the, the, the grid is not connected, there's no negative voltage on that grid, it's just uh, floating. So let's have a look, this is, yeah, you can hear the amplification is enormous, so I'll probably pull it out, because it's not good to the valve. So uh, anyway guys, you can see now uh, we accomplished something here. The next thing we go, what I'm going to do is uh, to connect up the VRs, uh, the high-low VRs uh, with uh, the potentiometer for uh, a radio or tape uh, recorder. We leave this one, the, the EF86, uh, I'll leave it out of there because that is the amplific amplification for our turntable or our pickup or whatever you want to kill it. Alright, so what we're going to do next is uh, get this uh, in order. Uh, probably I will change. Uh, no, it is not glowing anymore. It's fine, it's absolutely fine now. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm going to finish this video now, I think. Uh, I have to look how much we have on there now. Yeah, we have to uh, finish this video. So I will make, make a new video. Uh, I believe it is part uh, four, I believe. Yeah. I'll come back to you then with that video and we will uh, enjoy this uh, a bit more. So I will finish this channel, I probably will finish that channel, I will finish that meter and then in the next video we go to go through the motions all of it and then hopefully uh, when I get that far to get that pickup or a turntable uh, up and running, so you only have to two light bulbs in there and we have to check uh, our element uh, that that is connected properly, you have to connect it up here or something like that. 
So it's another film, uh, what you call, um, doing about it. So uh, you have to, as you call it, do it on the fly as, as it is. <laughs> Because it is all experimental, so I have my uh, schematic, I changed that already, again. So uh, there is uh, another one down there, that is where our uh, meter is going to be connected to. I just uh, bypassed that, uh, that valve because of that, I made a uh, cathode follower of that. So this is an amplification to uh, the cathode follower and the meter will be coming on there. So we will see what happens, but there again we are here to, until here we are. There, at this point, you see, this is uh, the high and this is the low, and then you have the, the amplification of that on, and that's where our, uh, our uh, uh, connection is for our tape recorder or whatever. So we leave this out of it for a moment, so I won't do that, and I will check this out. Uh, I'm very pleased at this, at this point, guys, uh, what I achieved. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video.